Okay, so the top that used to be here, I got rid of. I didn't like it. It was an embarrassment. I tried to use MDF, and I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but I just didn't know. It's more like a sponge wood type thing. So once I had routed all in my uh, blue track, the T track, screwed it all down, and those screws were about an inch long, and it just was not holding. And it, it took, I think it took about two or three times. I put something down in the track, and then the track just came right out. You can glue it, you can epoxy it, but like I said, the laminate it didn't it didn't cut very nice. I've, I've never maybe I needed a finer tooth saw to cut it. I don't know. I'd never used it before. And then when you're working on it, and the black and the blue together, it's a contrast. It's just gorgeous. I in my in my humble opinion. But when you get sawdust on there. And then it becomes messy real quick. So, damn flies. The hell, the hell with it. I, I just took off the entire top and chopped, well, you can't see. I chopped it up in small pieces. Who's texting me? And uh, now I'm using, I'm going to use this. This is, uh, this is tracked by Armor, Armor Tool. This stuff is pretty cool. Um, what it is, is a, is two tracks in one so your bottom is a track it uses these 516 bolts goes in and then you nut it from the bottom so I'm using my favorite wood the blonde wood I don't care you're ever gonna see it because it's gonna be the bottom and it's three-quarter inch thick so that will that will hold the track down each piece this is a what is this a 24 inch this is a, come on, where are you? Da, 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 da. Sure, we'll go with that. See, they're 18, 24, I don't know. Each, each track comes with three bolts. Then we'll hold it down, and then each has a little notch here so that you can just drop in your tool and then go in every, every hey, this is 24 inches, because I said every 12 inches you have a notch. So, and then it doesn't matter where where you are. And then you don't have to run into the edge either, which is, I, I like that a lot. So that now I can, I can run, I think I'm gonna use Purple Heart for a band this time instead of the oak. And then uh, I don't have to worry about routing into that for, for like a, an opening access like you would with the T-Track. Big pain in the butt that was. And since I'd never done that before, I had blowout and it would burns and it just, it was garbage and it was just an embarrassment. So this is now down in place. Once I get all of this laid out, then I'll pop the thing back on again and I'll let you see it. But for now, I'm still digging out. I got one more to go and Armor Tool is so nice that they they take the crap out of these ends and it's it's like trying to crack a safe trying to get in here so one more to go well I've got the track laid out exactly where I want it and what I did is I just made some pencil lines around everything so when I take it back and take it off I know exactly where to go and this is if if this is a, if there's another way to do this I don't know but um, this is how I'm doing it pop my holes in line everything up and kind of persuade it in there and what's cool is that since it's on a track you can slide it back and forth however you need it just a little bit and you're good. I'm just trying to give everything nice and tight like the corners. This is it's not needed, but I'm anal like that and that's how I want it. That's it. And what we only have just a few more fasteners to put in. And then you just take the uh your Oak plywood, or I mean, I mean, use oak plywood. Cut up everything else and goes in here and all around. 
and then probably I'll probably screw it in from underneath. And if you damage a piece, just unscrew it, pop it off, make a new one. Easy peasy. Okay, so in case I didn't say before, the reason why I'm switching the top of the workbench is because, quite honestly, I just don't like the one that was there before. Um, I, I made the mistake of using MDF as the top and then I glued the black laminate down and then I routered in uh, channels to put into the T-Track. Once I did that, even though the screws were about an inch long, it still wasn't enough to hold it hold in place with the track in, in MDF, uh, M, MDF. There we go. Can't talk. So it, it just pops right out of the uh, out of the uh, groove. Plus, um, I was honestly I was lazy when I was routing it, and I didn't use the big router. I just used a handheld trim router to do it. But I took very small passes at it, and I made sure that the straight edge was straight but it's the router still jumped on me from from time to time and it, it just it, it looked like crap in my opinion and if i'm supposed to be a professional woodworker and and you come look at the bench and and then it just you've got little i don't know it's it's not it wasn't quite straight because it just had little little runoffs here and there and and then oh and then the the outside edges were I didn't I didn't know to put up a put up a block on the on the front then when you do that then you reduce or eliminate uh, tear out altogether so once that bit hits your trim it doesn't it doesn't tear it out and for mine it did and some areas were better than others so so while in my mind's eye, I liked, I liked the, the look of the black with the blue track. It looked beautiful, but just like a black vehicle, it shows everything. So when you're working on it and, and then he, um, he gets sawdust on it. And yeah, I know. I know. That's the nature of it, right? Right. So it gets dirty and it gets dirty fast. So you're constantly having a vacuum to look at, make it look nice. Anyway, so I said the heck with this. I'm, I took off that entire top. I... I uh, cut it up in sections, and then my new neighbor in the neighborhood, he's a woodworker also, and he was he wanted that uh, material to put up in his attic for a uh, floor. I have at it. Um, so we did that, and then I'm now using, I'm gonna turn you around. So now I've got the uh, my favorite material. The blonde wood is on the bottom, three quarter inch. And I have this uh, armor track. I got this idea from uh, John Malucky, and he uh, he used this on his ultimate workbench, and it was it, it's great. So every I I like it. Every uh, every track. So this is 24 inches. Has three bolts, and they go in, and then they you know nut from the bottom. It's not going anywhere. If I, if I can get a example of this so there you go there, there's how thick your track is it's about three quarter inches and uh, like I said it, it bolts from the bottom and then you just drop in your accessory anywhere because every 12 inches there's a notch out so these are just sitting like this right now they're just drying so this is the uh, old plywood that I got and I just ripped that up today. No, I don't have any footage of that. I was just in a get it done mood and I didn't feel like filming. So I apologize for that. I just, I was, I was just too, in too much of a hurry, but I got it done, I got it all stained up. Once this dries, I'm probably gonna put a coat of poly on it. Maybe even two. I want this to be as durable as possible. I know it's a workbench, I know. And I know it's going to get beat up. I know that too. But this is another reason why this track is so great. is because in the middle of everything are, are your sections of your top. And just like what John did, he he's screwed up from the bottom. And so now it holds like this. This is already in place. So this isn't going anywhere. Wow, this is really light and it's really dark. I'm going to have to put another coat on here. Squirrel. Anyway, okay, so... So let's just say like this piece gets 
gets damaged. No big deal. I'll crawl underneath, take out the screws, pop out the piece, and put in another one in. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Don't show me! I got you! No! Yes! You're part of the channel, baby. I'm hiding. Say hi. Oh, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're done. Don't show me. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe.